and welcome to Profile Pod TV. I'm your host, Double A, back for another spectacular episode of the pod. Thank you so much for tuning in wherever you're tuning in from. It's always a pleasure to have you here with Double A for tuning in from the audio platforms, uh, Social Nostra, Roku, YouTube, whatever the case may be. We thank you so much for being here. As always, we have another spectacular, cool episode in store for you before we get to our guest who's standing by as you can see don't forget to subscribe on, on youtube profile pod tv if you want to support the podcast that's one way to do it hit that little red button uh, also leave me a rate and review i love getting that uh, feedback i love the constructive criticism Let, tell me what you think of the podcast man that's important to me so go to apple podcast leave me a rate and review or send me a dm on instagram follow me on instagram all that good stuff it's all profile pod tv and uh, it's all good, man. I'm all I'm all about building community, and uh, that's what it's that's what it comes down to, man. Supporting each other. So, and don't forget about Social Nostra, of course, the talented network that is uh, full of creators and podcasters. Now available on Roku and YouTube, Instagram, all that good stuff. So, give us a follow, man. There's something there for everybody. And uh, this is the podcast. You know, I like to say that is uh that brings on individuals who are extraordinary individuals who are inspiring the human spirit and tonight we have an individual who's doing just that and beyond okay i that's what i, I bring on people who are insp inspirational bottom line and I'm, i take something from each one man it's a beautiful thing i get to come on each week and just get uplifted inspired motivated and learn man learn something from from each one of these these guests man it's it's such a beautiful experience so uh, if you're not doing a podcast, dude, get a podcast, man. <laughs> I mean, because it's 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 a beautiful thing. Like I said, my man is standing by. This gentleman is doing big things in the world of entertainment, man. He's been in acting for over 10 years. He's a producer. He's a hip-hop uh, recording artist. He's uh, a creator. Just a bottom line, great guy, man. It's such a great story. And he's here to talk to us here on Profile Pod TV. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome, without further ado, my man lyrics what's up brother what's good bro thank you for getting me on man i'm excited oh man thank you bro and it, you know it was it's such a pleasure connecting with you at chicano hollywood uh, the event man you, you did that little spot interview man it was it was beautiful man it was it, yeah. it was cool it was cool connecting with you brother yeah shout out to uh chicano hollywood man and uh my homie uh dark tv 33 man for uh inviting me to come out and I uh, got to network with a lot of you guys, man. It was it's a it's a beautiful thing, man. Because of me going there, man, I, I got to network with a lot of people, such as yourself, you know, um, Mellow Man Ace, and you know, it, it, a lot of people, man. So it got to uh, got to yeah, just other than just just networking, meeting people, man. You know, uh, so it was dope, man. Yeah, definitely, definitely, man. Dope event. Oh man, that was yeah. We got to meet a lot of people and. And speaking of Johnny, yeah, big shout out to Johnny Chicano Hollywood. He was just here last week. You may have seen some of the clips uh, on Instagram of, of his appearance here on, on on the pod, man. So yeah, it, it was it's a it's a great thing, man. Great uh, getting to meet individuals, man, who are or, who are just awesome people, man. You know what I mean? Just just freaking right. awesome beings. And that that night, yeah, man, there was a lot of those people there, man. It was it was, it was a great experience, so no doubt, brother. Yeah, everybody was cool. Nobody was disrespectful. Everybody was just you know. It was like, even when I got there, people knew who I was, you know, and it's funny because there's some people that I seen and I knew who they were because of, t you know, watching them on TV or whatever they were on. And it was like, and they look at me like, oh, you're that dude on TikTok, bro. I follow you. I'm like, bro, I see you too. <laughs> like, it is dope, you know what I mean? And, and you know, Jerry Garcia, same thing. How look cool, man. We, we chopped it up. He knew who I was off the bat on Instagram. You know, it's just, it's dope, man. It, it, it's family, bro. It's, it's, it's cool. So, yeah. No doubt, man. No, and yeah, and it was cool because I got to see you or see my son kind of connecting with certain individuals. You were one of those individuals, and um, he, yeah. you know, he he was he said, "Does that guy that guy lyrics is super cool, man?" He was, I was like, "Yeah, yeah, hell yeah!" And, and so it was yeah. nice to see, get him out there into the world a little bit and uh, right. young pup coming up. So yeah, definitely, yeah. man. Good, good guy, man. Absolutely, man. How's how's everything, Madera, bro? Your hometown out there. How, how how's everything out there for you, man? Going. Oh, everything's going good, man. You know, just, just here, bro, you know, just grinding, you know, working, staying busy, you know, uh, just, you know, Hey, you know, Madera's Madera, you know what I mean? So, you know, so I, 
I've been here yeah. since what, man? Since shit, I was born and raised here, bro. You know what I mean? And I, I still haven't left this place, man. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, you man. But that's the point. That's that's the beauty of it, though, because it's like when they say put your city on a map, you know what I mean? It's like, OK, like I always thought about I was going to do that in my music career, you know, because I was doing music for a, for a long time. And um, and and when I got it, when I transitioned into acting, it was like, wow, look, look, look where my look, my dreams are just like and the people, behind, you know, people that have been watching me since I was a kid are like. You never stopped your dream, bro. You never stopped chasing your dream. Now look at you, man. Like I see you on the newspapers, I see you on TV, I see you on uh, Amazon, I see you on Netflix, or I saw you on this, and and it's dope, man. You know, That's and awesome. I still feel like I, I still feel like okay, I, I still have a lot to go. Like I feel like I'm not, I'm still kind of. I don't want to say I'm like I'm no, I'm a nobody, but you know what I'm saying. Like I don't really have a name type of. But a lot of these people who watch me are like. Are, are are inspired by my work you know what i mean inspire like you know what i mean like from where i came from you know yeah, and that's and and that's what that's what matters to me man is to inspire others bro letting them know that if i could do it you could do it too man absolutely man you know lyrics i i i got back into the world uh, you know i i, I was that one of those guys who kind of went into a you know different path you know kind of a. I don't want to say abandoned my, my dreams or goals, but I, like I said, man, I went just circumstances, life took me in a different direction, man. And I, I started feeling like, man, I, I, I want to kind of, I, I don't want, I left all, of that, all that on the table. I want to go back, see what I can do, man. So like, you know, three years ago, literally three years ago, I jumped back into it and uh, yeah, man, it's, it's been a beautiful journey, but, but yeah, like you said, man, it's, it's great that you, you kept going, you kept going and, and you've been, you've, now you're a, an example, man, a, a model for others to follow. You know, you, you stick with it, you stick with it, man, and, and it'll happen. It's going to happen, man. If you bust your ass, you put in the work, and right. uh, you know what I mean? So that that's great, man. That's, yeah, that's nobody says it's going to be easy, man. Ain't nobody going to hand no. you anything. You just got to you just gotta do it. You got to believe in you, you know what I mean? And it's just whatever dreams that you have or whatever talents you have, don't leave it to waste, you know what I mean? I don't care if you do rapping, acting, whatever it is that you're, you're an artist or what, like don't let anything stop you or get in the way and don't let anybody tell you that you're no good. And if they are, they're hating on you and that's yeah. okay. Yeah, there might be somebody that's better than you, but it's all right. The only competition you need to be is with yourself. That I'm gonna do better than I am. Like whatever I'm doing today, I'm gonna do better next year. I'm gonna keep doing better. I'm gonna keep, you know, you're, I'm. That's what I'm saying. I'm in no competition with nobody, man, other than myself, man. Yep. And you know, so you just gotta have that positive attitude, man. And just don't worry about other people, man, because they're the ones that are trying to like sink you down and make you feel like you can't do anything, man. I used to make people feel like, make me, uh, you know, they'll tell me some stuff or I'll hear some stuff. Oh, he ain't that, you know, his music, you know, and I never let that stop me, bro. You know what I mean? It was just, music was just an outlet for me to express myself, you know, acting is a way for me to express myself because I get to be somebody that I'm not. So mm. it's, what I meant by that is that if I'm, if I'm, an, if I'm having a bad day or I'm going through depression or anxiety or whatever it is, and I'm on set, I get to put myself away for a while and be somebody different. You know what I mean? And bring that character into life. I love you know, it. so that's what I love about doing doing this stuff, man. Yeah. Yeah, no, no doubt, bro. It's definitely uh it's such a unique experience, man. And I always say it, you know, I, I liken it to to sports, like you know, if you, football, for example. Uh if you've never played football, you know, you you don't know what, what, what it's like. You don't know how to experience. You don't know what it's hard for me to, I can do the best I can to describe it, ex explain what it's like, but if you never strapped it up then obviously, you know, and that goes for anything, right? If you never ra raced a car or, or, you know, designed a, I don't know, a car, or whatever the case may be. Right. It's, but yeah. acting is one of those things, man. It's one of those experiences where, or performing and, or, you know, even doing a podcast, you know, it's it's just like it's a great experience, man. And and, and speaking of of Madeira, bro, you know, let's get into the Ghetto Busters, bro. Ghetto Busters, you're you're you co-created it, you're producing it, you acting in it, bro. I think you're even uh, doing craft services over there. No. <laughs> I, just, 
I mean, yeah, I'm, eating the, I'm eating what's there, though. <laughs> I ain't got to lie. Whatever's there, I'm going to grub on it. And for those but, of you who don't know craft services, that's that's the food. That's that's where they, they serve the food to the, the staff. Right. Staff, casting crew. Um, yeah. Yeah. Tell us about Ghetto Busters, brother. How, this, first of all, like, you co-created it, man. Uh, you, yourself, and Mr. D uh, is it Danny or Fred? Yeah, Fred? so it, it, uh, Dan Danny Salcida and uh, Freddie. Hey, shout out to Freddie uh, Falcon, man. He's, yes. he's our he's the writer. He's the writer, man. Uh, and um, yeah, man, we we just started driving one day, and um, I think it was in the city of Visalia, I believe. I could be wrong, but and there was a car there that was like a like you know this guy. He's all you know, he's all into Ghostbuster. So he had his Jeep all Ghostbustered out, you know what I mean? And, and shout out to Tony. That's his, that's his, uh, his Jeep. And so we're looking <laughs> at it, man. And we're like, what if we came up with some type of TV series, man, like a spoof of Ghostbusters, man, how funny it would be if we get, if we do this and do that. I'm like, yeah, man, we get like big shit. Or, oh, we could do this and do that. And we could, we could, you know, and, and it just came like, okay. And then it was like, all right, everybody forgot about it. Right. But I was like, I did it. You know what I mean? I, would, I So I hit up Freddie. I'm like, Freddie, bro, like, so what's up with Ghetto Busters? He goes, you really think that's a good idea? I was like, bro, you need to write that shit now, bro. That He wrote it within, a, I think, a day, bro. He wrote the first. He's a good writer, and he's fast. So he wrote the first episode within a day or so. Wow. And then he, so, yeah. And um, my buddy Danny, man, and Danny knows, too. He was like, he, he was like ah, I don't know if I want to do this because, at first, I was like, okay, we could do this and just, like, give it to YouTube and just, like, let's just build an audience, you know what I mean? We'll give it away, put it on YouTube, and just have fun with it. Let's see what happens. Yeah. And so that was the whole purpose of it. And then, um, so, yeah, Danny's like, nah, I don't know if I want to do this. And then I was like, okay. And I was like, damn, bro, we don't need you then. We'll go ahead. Me and Freddie will go ahead and take care of this, though. Man, Freddie wrote it within a day. And then I was like, Danny, this is dope. And I was, and then uh, we shot it to Danny. And I told Danny I was giving Danny ideas and telling him, hey, man, we could do this. And then the more he he read the script, he, he fell in love with it. He's like, damn, man, this is good. I said, bro, we're going to go ahead and do it without you then. He goes, nah, bro, I got to I gotta, I gotta jump uh, in. Well, he wanted it, huh? <laughs> yeah, so he, 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 yeah, that was so. <laughs> you know, um, so we got it. You know, we 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 did the first episode, man, and um, and just kind of went from there, bro. Like, you know, I, I was supposed to play jalapeno, like I told you from the beginning. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, uh, jalapeno is the you know basically the star of the show and stuff, and um, and then and it just. I, you know, knowing concrete, you know, watching him on Instagram and what he does, I just felt in my heart that this guy would be best for the role. Not, not that I felt like I couldn't do it or whatnot. It just felt like I just, you, sometimes you gotta, you gotta follow your heart. You gotta do yeah. what benefits the project. Cause first of all, man, I'm not only an actor see, I could just be an actor and be like, no, I could be, no, it's all me. I got this. I got this. <laughs> and at the same time, you know, being a creator and one of the producers of it is just like you, you know, I got the back end of it where I'm like, you know, I got to remove myself as an actor for this one and give it to somebody to benefit the project, bro. And that's wow. exactly what I did, man. And it's funny because I even said the same thing in uh, that the Chinese man's uh, uh, the man uh, Chinese Chinese theater and, and Hollywood Boulevard. Yeah. And, you know, and I said the same thing uh, when they, you know, when they're asking questions and stuff. And the first person that hit me that that they had a question for me or wanted to talk to me was uh, Emilio Rivera. Oh, and man. he was there, bro. And and he goes, hey, I want to talk to this guy right here. I just want to say, man, that, you know, what you did was, you know, chingon, you know, and like not too many people would do that. And to hear that from a legend, bro, I was like, man, that, that really meant a lot to me, man. And and um. But I just told him, I was like, yeah, I just, I had to follow my heart, bro. You know what I mean? Because I already seen the bigger picture. I already seen whatever was go what's going on now is what I saw then, bro. You know, so I had that, you know, that vision, bro. Like, and, and I had to, you know, yeah. let God do his thing, you know? That, that's super cool, man. Yeah, it takes a lot of humility, man, to do that. To see And that's great, man, that you had that vision. You had the, you saw the, the overall picture, man, and and for you to, I think that speaks volumes about you, man, your personality, your, 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 you as a human being, brother, um, you know, just to, to do that, you know, and, and because, yeah, like, as we all know, that's, that's, that's pretty rare, man. That's pretty rare. But, but yeah, I think, I think, you know, it'll, it'll, that's going to come back to you, brother. And, and you, you know, you'll, you'll, you'll take on a, a star role somewhere else in, in the future. And, 
Uh, but, yeah, I pray. I, I pray so, man. I, I pray so. Like I, I mean, like like I said, I, I, you know, that's not the only. You know, I've done a lot of things where I've yeah. I helped out a lot. I helped out a lot of people, man. And you know, there's times where you think like, when is it my turn? You know what I mean? When is it? When is it my turn? You know, and years go by, and it's just. But I never, I never let that stop me being the person who I am. You know what I mean? And you know, like the Bible says, it's better to give than to receive. You know what I mean? And that's kind of like where I have to understand the word and, and where it came from and what he's what he meant by that. And I understand now. And uh, and 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 the blessings will come, bro. It'll come. And I feel blessed now, bro. So it's I, I don't have to be a star in anything, bro. I could, you know. It, you know, so yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy, man. I'm blessed, man. And I, I hey, <laughs> yeah, no doubt, bro. No doubt. Yeah, no, I love stories of selflessness like that. I love that, man. And you know, you guys got you got a great cast, man, that you guys put together, you know. Uh, and I've connected with a few cast, cast members, Ricky, you know, Mickey Montez, who plays Savio. Um, you know, we got um, uh, Deanna, the hot mom, Deanna Molay. Yeah, shout, shout out to them. Yeah. She'll be here yeah, next she, week. <laughs> oh, will yeah. she? Okay, that's dope. Cool. Yeah, yeah. man. She, she, she's, man, she's another great producer on the show. And and without her, we wouldn't have gotten, you know, where we're at now. Like, it just, she pushed it more and more, man. Mm. And see, that's how God works, bro. Like, even before we even met Deanna, just see how the, how things just start developing, man. And yeah. that's exactly what I wanted to see and how I, I envisioned it. And, 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 and yeah, bro, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Like, well, you know, what happens if, what, what if I was jalapeno? Would it, would it be where it's at? You know, we don't know that. We don't know that, you know? So you got to listen. Yeah. You got to listen, bro. You know what I mean? And that's what I did. And, 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 and yeah, shout out to Deanna, man, because it, it's, hey, she got us where we needed to be too, so. That's a beautiful thing, man. Yeah, I was listening to her on the uh, uh, Yo 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 podcast with uh, Martin. Great, great oh, yeah. episode, man. Yeah, that was that was really cool with with Danny as as well in there, and she yeah she was she's pushing man she's pushing for that international distribution deal she was talking about and so so yeah man I think yeah a lot of I think the Ghetto Busters is definitely going places man and going back to the cast man you got the uh, Citric as a or, uh, Citric Campos as Bob. <laughs> I love yeah. that. I love that character. Yeah, my bozo, my bozo, my bozo, yeah, Bob, uh, man. That's- you know, I mean, you got yeah, concrete. There's jalapeno, of course, and Ryan Ochoa playing Bucky, and uh, so yeah. man, it's such a cool cast of, of, of individuals, of great actors, man. Professional, yeah. funny, trained, it's, and, it's and then, you know what? They they work together so well. You know what I mean? And and a lot of stuff that they've done, yeah, uh, they followed the script, but a lot of it was improv as well. You know what I mean? So. They just wow. fed off each other. That's how the chemistry work. It was like mm. even some of the they just fed off each other, bro. It's like, oh shoot, we didn't go with this script, but we went a whole different direction, which made it even more funnier. So, and and we were okay with that, man. You know what I mean? It it went well, and yeah, it's all about building chemistry. As long as everybody gets along with each other, man, and and you know what I'm saying. It'll be good, you know, and I love stuff like that. I love it when you act like you don't have to focus too much on your lines, which you should. You should focus on it. But, you know, sometimes it's OK to, you know, act, you know, improv a little bit or just, you know, yeah. make that character you. You know what I mean? And that's what they did, man. Yeah, man. It, I've seen the first three episodes and it's funny as hell, man. I was uh, like I was telling you, man, I, I saw the first two episodes. And then I, I I had some, you know, I had the kids. I couldn't really focus in. Right. I went back, saw, uh, with no distractions last night, I wanted to, you know, really zone in and, and really pay attention. And I was like, man, this is, this is fucking funny, man. <laughs> like, yeah, it's yeah. Awesome, man. It's really, it's legit, man. Legit, you know. Uh, you guys shoot uh, on location at, in Madeira, correct? Yeah, we 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 uh we we filmed in Madeira, um, also a little bit in uh in, in LA as well, uh I think uh, Riverdale, uh, which is not too far from Madeira. Um, mm-hmm. So a lot of it was local, bro. A lot of it's local, and um and that's and that's the thing, man, is that 
you don't need to move. You don't need to go to Hollywood to do big things. Our plan is to 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 do big things where we're at. You know what I mean? So, you know, we got to over here, bro. There's a lot of great locations and, and it's cheap. You know what I mean? Uh, you mm. just talk to the right people, man. And just and you know what? A lot of these people here are like, hey, we never did a movie out here. Like, hey, we like to shoot here at your store. Or we like to do this. And they get excited about it, man. We'll give you a shout out, some credit or whatnot. And they're like, yeah, definitely, man. It's just they're, they're very supportive of what we're doing, bro. You know, we had even we did a movie a while back um, and we shut down the the Madeira, uh, the government, uh, government, uh, government center here in Madeira, bro. Like, yeah, they shut down the whole government center for us to film there, bro. That was dope. You know what nice. I mean? So, really? yeah. That's cool. Um, so, cool. yeah, we got, we're getting a lot, we have a lot of respect, you know what I mean, for, you know, out here. And um, because, you know, they, they don't really do do so much stuff like that, like movies and stuff out here. So that's our thing, man. It's what we like to call uh, Valley Wood. You know, we want <laughs> you know, you know, I don't have to, we don't have to be in Hollywood to do some, but, you know, you know the plan is to to bring hollywood here here man you know what i mean definitely man no it, it, you're bringing notoriety to a certain area a certain city who you know probably doesn't get that notoriety very often so yeah i think that's a great thing too man you're, you're putting them on the map and but you're starting to see this a lot more correct me if i'm wrong lyrics where you know uh in hollywood you know there's you're starting to film out in different, you know, states and, and that aren't, aren't really known for, for having, you know, filming and stuff like that. New right. Mexico, for example, or, or you know, yeah. uh, these different uh, areas. And uh, what can you tell us about that, man? Do you have any insight on that? On that oh, what? Just, just uh, you know, these different um, pr projects, productions being filmed out in different areas, kind of going away from Hollywood a little bit, you know? Yeah, and, and and that's okay. You know what I mean? Yeah, and I, of course. I don't see nothing really, you know, uh, uh, you know, bad about it or nothing like that. It's just, man, there's just you, you don't. There's so much out there. You know what I mean? There's so much out there to, you know, to 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 make a qual, you know, a great movie, a great TV show somewhere. You know what I mean? It's just you could go anywhere and film and make it happen. You know what sure. I mean? So, you know, you know, yeah. So, you know, much props for the people who are like taking that leap and trying to make things happen in different places, man. Cause you know, you don't want to just stay in one area, man. Don't be too comfortable. You know what I'm saying? Where you're at, it's okay. Expand somewhere else, do something, you know? So um, I think it's dope, man. I think it's dope. And I, I, I believe like what we're doing is, 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 is uh, making our community, you know, they're excited for what we're doing, you know? Um, giving awesome. them hope, giving them, you know, giving them uh, some dreams, you know what I mean? Especially, you know, the, the raza, you know what I mean? Being Mexican, Hispanic, Chicano, you know what I mean? It's because you don't really see too many, you know, of us in, in, in so much, you know, in movies and stuff, you know what I mean? And that's yeah. the reason why we're doing what we're doing today, man, is to open up some doors, you know? Absolutely, man. And you guys are doing just that. I think that we're starting to see you know, I keep seeing, I keep hearing about it and, and, you know, we're seeing a movement or, uh, you know, this, the, this uh, particular community, you know, Raza and Latinos and, and really, really starting to, um, you know, blossom a little bit in, in the industry. And you, yeah, start and, you, and you know what? And and for us, it's like, we, we don't have to do just gangster movies. You know what I mean? Right. We don't have to do like, you know, the blood and blood outs, American me's, you know what I mean? All those movies are classics. Let's leave them alone. You know what I mean? And and that's how I kind of feel about it, man. Because the more you keep trying to do that, it's just like, ah, oh, we've seen that already. So it's like, yeah. you know, uh, we, we want to be better than that. We want to like show us doing other things. You could be a lawyer, you know what I mean? You could be a yeah. teacher, you could be, you know, a police officer or whatever, man. It don't have to be we don't want to have to like make you feel like you're just typecasted in any way. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, and that's the reason why it's like, that's the reason why we're doing what we're doing today because it, it opened doors as, you know, especially for myself. Cause when we started doing, doing this uh, Falcon pictures and we started really working on like, okay, let's, let's really start this. Let's really make things happen. And that's when we did Americanos uh americanos and, and you know that's a, a tv series that we we worked on we shot a pilot for it and uh i don't I, I don't know if i could really say too much about it but i could just tell you it's at uh paramount studios with you know with a with a with a uh with a big act actress you know uh, okay 
Um, Go ahead. You can tell us, bro. And, and, yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, I mean, Danny's not here because I don't know what I can say no, or I'm what I can't say, you know what I mean? But <laughs> the, the whole, and, you know, and, and, and it's basically put on hold, you know what I mean? I think Hollywood put a lot of things on hold because of the whole COVID thing. Yeah. And so when everything was put on hold, we were the ones that said, no, let's start filming. Let's start shooting. This is a good time to start doing Ghetto Busters. So we started doing it while everything else was shut down. We started filming. That's right. But we did, you know, we we did everything that we needed to do as far as like protocol. Like, we, you know, we we checked everybody's temperature, make sure they were good. You know, we had them sign waivers, make sure that we put the tamp on there. You know what I'm saying? Like everybody mm. wore their mask and um and, and we we were safe about everything you know what i mean wow uh, we didn't, so so that's what we did that's what we did so while everything was shut down we were filming yeah yeah you and you guys shot um, in was in 2020 for the most part when, when you started shooting uh, yeah around there we i think we did the first because we did the first episode i think in i want to say 2019 oh we did 19. the first episode but we had to reshoot the first episode too. You know what I mean? So when we did the first episode, it was a different camera. It was, you know, uh, and we started shooting the second one, the third one, and all the way to, and then after that, I was like, bro, we got to really go back to the first one and do it again. You know what I mean? And, mm. Uh, some of them, they really didn't want to redo it because it's like, oh, we got to do it again. I said, bro, we got to do it again. It's going to be, it's, it, we have to, you know, and that's oh. exactly what we did. So we shot, so the first episode was actually the last episode we filmed, bro. Oh, oh really? <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah. got it. I see. If that makes any sense. So, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. You went back. And- uh, so, yeah, man. And um, now we're on Tubi, man. Like, shoot. Like, I, yeah. That's a beautiful thing, man. Tubi, yeah. Congratulations on that, man. And you know, I, I wanted to get into your role a little bit on on, uh, on Ghetto Busters. You you play uh, the ghetto son, Carlos, right? Is that yeah, yeah. I play Carlos, man. I'm I'm that that son that mom wanted to get rid of, man. You know, <laughs> drinking all the beer, smoking, doing all the drugs, and this and this and that. You know, and, and it starts off with me. You know, then trying to get rid of me. You know. Um, and I, without giving away too much, because you watched the second episode and the third episode, so you know. Um, but my, P- my PS5 is in there. Yeah, my PS5 is <laughs> in there. All said, that's all we cared about was the PS5. I didn't care who uh, else was in that house burning. <laughs> but um, oh, good stuff, man. Yeah, man, that, that was that was fun, man. Um, I love doing it. I, it was. It just, it, it was like natural to me, man. Like, you know, cause like I said, like I, every time I film something, I was, I was just like play the bad guy. You know, I was always the bad guy. It's easy for me to be the bad guy, I guess, because I had history on it. You know, I've been there. Mm-hmm. Uh, and, and, but I have fun with it, man. And I got to put a little comedy into it too. You know, you know, if it's facial expressions or the way I, you know, and I, that's what I had. I didn't always have to be hardcore, you know what I mean? Just It's a funny show. Make it funny. So I, I knew what I needed to do, man, you know? Yeah, yeah. Good stuff, man. I, I, I'm just thinking of some of the scenes, man. And I, I, Yeah, I don't want to give away, you know, you guys got to check it out, ladies and gentlemen. Um, yeah. Ghetto Busters, go check it out on Tubi. You can't, you're going to laugh your ass off. And uh, my man right yeah, here. Man. Yeah, lyrics plays Ghetto Son Carlos, the the antagonist, right? One of the antagonists. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Without giving away too much, yeah. yeah but no yeah, doubt. Yeah. But there's been so many great people involved in this project, man. Um, you know, shout out to like Martin. You know, he's on there. Phil yeah. Martina, uh, No LG. No LG plays Hector in almost every movie. You know what I mean? He's that <laughs> Hollywood, that you know Hollywood solo. And guess what? We named him Hector on this TV series too. You know. What I mean? Oh. <laughs> um, you know the homie Giovanni. He he's uh he's on the movie Shazam. Uh, we got a. Man, bro, like just a lot of, uh, you know, uh, Cedric, big Cedric plays on a yeah. Lopez show with George Lopez. He played on Idiocracy. Great guy, man. Humble dude. Um, and, you know, a uh, guy who, uh, Ryan Ochoa, who plays Bucky, he plays on iCarly. He, uh, he also played on, uh, uh, man, what's that other Nickelodeon show he was on? Uh, oh, that's, some, that's, he looked familiar. Yeah. He was on iCarly. Yeah, yeah. He, you know, so we got a lot of good names on here, man. And, you know, we all became, you know, it's family, bro. It's family. Yeah, you know, we yeah. all stay in contact with each other, man. And 
bro, like this is it's a beautiful thing. You know, these you get to work with actors that you watch on TV, which you know, like you said, like I like my, like I said, like I Carly, I watched him with my kids. I was like, oh, you thought that kid was a good actor. I was like, man, this kid's funny, you know. <laughs> and um and, and didn't know I would ever work with him. Good dude, you know what I mean? His dad too. I like I always me and me and his dad were always we're always chopping it up, man. So mm. I always man, I love I love these guys, man. Always Great. always a good time on set, man. Always a good time on set. It's not one of those sets where you're like boring. It's boring, you know, and you can't talk, you can't hang out. No, we all hang out. You know what I mean? When they're filming inside, you're not filming, you go outside, you just goof around, hang out, chill, laugh, man. And yeah, just, yeah, yeah that chemistry man so yeah yeah man it's 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 fun you know we make filming fun bro for people what an experience and, you know, we man. had that too people would tell us too man people from that even from la they're like man bro you the, the set that we're on like you know with the way you guys film it's not like la man it's like you you know once they don't need you they'll put you in a trailer and you can't really hang out with anybody or oh. this and that you got to be quiet it's like you guys are different man like and you, you guys <laughs> It's it's family, you know. Even Martin mm-hmm. said it too. You know, I could see this is like a family environment. I was like, yeah. Mm-hmm. See, that's what makes it special, bro. Yeah, man, you you capture lightning in a bottle, man, and it's and, it's, and good stuff happens, right? Obviously, man. And is this your first time direct? Uh, not direct. I'm sorry, lyrics uh, producing. Um, this one, yeah, no, uh, Midnight Altercation too. I got a t- we got a uh, we got a short film called Midnight Altercation. It's also on YouTube. Okay. I played the lead. I played the lead role on that. Even my godson, he also plays the lead, uh, the supporting role on there. And um, his first film that he's acted on, and uh, he follows my lead, man. And so I end up trying to manage him and try to get him out there because he always said, "Man, you know, I want to be an actor just like you, you know, and oh, wow. I want to follow in your footsteps, man." And so I, you know, I try to do what i can to to uh you know to help help him you know because i always feel like with you know with kids man you 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 know what i mean you gotta you gotta uh encourage them man you gotta you know it's like you know he how would you say like uh yeah you just gotta encourage him bro you gotta encourage him man because you know if not yeah if not man the the streets will bro the streets will get them you know what i mean yeah so um so yeah 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 so anyway man um yeah midnight altercation man I, i'm also a producer on there as well okay. so yeah and what's what's your first love man uh, or do you have a first love uh, you know producing is it acting is it is it uh rapping you know what 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 is it for you brother uh you know what when i man my, my first love was was you know was music you know what i mean i was my first love uh, you know, I always tell people I got her tattooed on me, man. Music is my religion. You know, mm-hmm. uh, I love music. Who doesn't love music? You know what I mean? And it's just a way for me to express myself and my feelings and whatever I've been through in my life, whatever I could say in that, you know, uh, pour out a message that I could, you know, that you may relate to. You know, I might change, you know, I can might say something in there that might change your life or might change it, you know what I'm saying? And I heard it all, I heard all kinds of stories, man. And 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 that's what I do. Like I'm more of an inspirational artist, man. And that's why that was my first love is music, man. You know, and then I just transitioned into to acting, you know. Yeah, definitely, man. Yeah, but man. with music, man, like I, I I got a chance to, you know, even with music, man, I set goals, you know, like I'm like, I always want, I want to work with my favorite artists, you know, like Busy Bone from Bone Thugs and Harmony. You know what I mean? I love Bone Thugs and Harmony. And, and, and when I set my mind to something, I'm going to do it, you know, and I got to work with uh, Busy Bone, you know what I mean? And not, not only he was on my album, but I got to be on his album too. So that was dope. Manifesting, yeah. bro. Yeah, man. Um, and then to hang out with them on, you know, behind uh, after they were done with their uh, performance, to hang out with them backstage and chop it up with them, and just like, wow, man, I did it. Okay, cool. What's next? What's next? All right. I'm always like, what's next? I want to be on the radio, and I've I've done that. Been on the radio. I'm like, all right, what's next? You know, and I want more. You know, like I just I, I set goals for myself all the time. But yeah. Um, I work with Busy Bone. Uh, my, my buddy uh, Zigzag from the NB Riders did a song with him. Um, uh, Spice One, you know the you know list kind of goes on, you know. So yeah, man. Yeah, That's man. A- incredible, man. Incredible, brother. Like you said, you're you're an inspirational artist, man, and, and you do it all, man. You do it all so well, and and you have a you know kind of a a turbulent past, right? When you were younger, uh, you know. What, 
tell us a little bit about uh, some of those uh, things you ha- kind of had a, some of the adversity you went through, you know, growing up man, and, 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 you know, in your teen years and, and early, er, you know, early on. Yeah. Well, for me, man, I like, uh, like, you know, I lost my mom when I was eight days old, bro. You know, I was, uh, we were in a car accident. I was in a car accident too. Uh, mm-hmm. She ended up passing away, man. Uh, flew up, you know, she flew out the car. My dad got hurt really bad. Um, I, I heard, I, I got hurt. My brother, my sisters got hurt and stuff. And I was raising my aunt, my uncle. Um, and then my, my dad, man, he, he was murdered in, in I believe in 98, 99, 99, he was murdered by his stepson, you know, and, uh, my cousin, man, like my best, you know, my, one of my my favorite cousins, like he he was murdered too, man. You know, some gang stuff, and mm. and you know, going through all that, man, it, it's it's tough. You know what I mean? It, it's it's tough because it's like I didn't get a chance to have a real mom. You know, I don't even know that side of the family, my mom's side of the family, because she came from Mexico. I don't, you know, and um, um, yeah. but you know what, man, um. So I started doing things that I shouldn't be doing. And I've been through things that kids shouldn't even go through, you know, as, you know, growing up, you know, um, been locked up, you know, um, I was faced a lot of time, you know, in CYA in prison, you know, things like that, being young. And um, but I used that to to make me, you know, all that all that that I've been through, it, 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 it was, you know, I don't regret it because it, it made me who, who I am today. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It made me the person who I am today. And I'm grateful that I, all that had to happen to me when I was young, then, you know, then, you know, now, you know what I mean? And w- what I'm saying is that like getting locked up and, and drugs and whatever gangs and all that, I'm glad I did that when I was young, you know, yeah. because now I got to use all that to, to help me. Well, to help others, you know what I'm saying? To I get, you know, people that were going, you know, because I, I I did mentoring, you know what I mean? I've been, you know, juvenile halls, boot camps, prison, CYAs, just to go there and talk to the kids and let them know what I've been through. And a lot of my a lot of my testimony, my my stories and stuff, I like to share just only with them, man. Like, you know what I mean? Like mm. I'll share a lot with them because I feel like it's that time to like you know, to reach somebody, you know what I mean? Like I could tell you and I could tell a lot of people, but a lot of, most of the time I keep it to myself until I go into those, you know, the, the jail cells, man, because, yeah. um, I feel you, but feel you. yeah, yeah, man. But, uh, so yeah, yeah, yeah. So everything I've gone through, man, I, it made me the person who I am today, man. So, Hey, so, you know, if I could do it, man, you could do it too. You know, I always tell people that, you know, I, you know, I, I lived a, a you know, a, 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 a you know, uh, a rough, you know, I had a rough past, man. And, but Hey man, look, look, look where we're at today, man. I got two beautiful boys, you know what I mean? I, I raised them to be great, you know, great young men, you know what I'm saying? Um, and, um, Hey, just, just happy, man. Just happy, man. You know what I mean? All, all that gang shit. Nope. I don't care about it, man. North, South, whatever, man. Hey, I, I'm just here to, 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 to build a relationship, to network, man. And I don't care where you're from, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, there's nothing but love. Nothing but love. You know yeah. what I mean? You ain't going to get nothing out of me but but love. You know, yeah. so. No, lyrics, that's the one thing I, I, you know, I think that's why we connected so well, man. It, when we first met is, is you know, I, I, I could tell you're a real one, man. And you have a great heart, man. And I, I, I like to think that I have the same thing. You know, I, I pride myself on, just being a respectful and decent human being, you know? And uh, so, yeah, man, I think that's a, that's a, you have a great story, man. And you're truly a, an example for, you know, you know, you're living proof, man, that if you set your mind to something and you keep moving, you keep moving, you keep battling through and, and you know, you're going to get there, man. You're going to get there no matter what your dreams are, no matter what your goals are, man. And, yeah. you know, yeah, what what uh what 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 would you tell yourself if you could, if you could go back in time, man? What would you tell your eighteen year old self, man? You know, what, what kinds of things? Oh, would you that's say? a man. That's a good question. <laughs> yeah. uh, what would I tell myself, <laughs> man? Just dang, bro. Um, you know, it's so funny. Like I, I don't. I would tell myself a lot of things, man. To be honest with you, you uh-huh. know. You know, just just a uh, bro, like just follow follow your heart, man. Follow your dreams, man. Don't 
I would I would say I would tell myself, man, hang out with people that are like minded, man, and, and you know, mm-hmm. don't be a follower. You know what I'm saying? Be a leader. You know. Yeah. That's a good question, bro, because I wasn't prepared for that one. You know what I mean? <laughs> but well, I think I would tell myself to be a leader, man. Don't who cares what these people say about you? If they laugh at you, they think you're going this way because you're you're doing something better for yourself. Because I had a lot of that. I didn't know how to handle that either, you know, when I was trying to do the right thing, because there's people like, oh, he thinks she's look at him, or you know, and you just felt you feel you could feel alone. You sometimes you feel alone, you know, because you're you're trying to be a leader. Because you, when you're a leader, you're by yourself sometimes, man. You know, yeah. But I never taught my I never I never knew that was a good thing, you know what I mean. And as a man today, where it's like, I don't give a shit what anybody thinks. Boy, I could be by my, I'm happy. Look where I'm at, boy. Like, you know what I mean? Like, and yeah, I think I would tell myself that, man. You know, to be be a leader, man. You know? Yeah. Sure. Yeah, I lo- no, I love it, man. I love it, you know. Uh, yeah, I, you know, I, you talk about, you just said some things that, that you really resonated with me, man. You know, who cares what people think, man? Who you know, it's okay to be, you know, uh, yeah, being a leader is, 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 it is lonely sometimes, man. And, and sometimes you might feel like, oh shit, what's wrong with me? What, you know, why am I alone? Or it, 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 that could get mixed construed. It might play with your head a little bit, but that, it's actually, you know, it's not a bad thing, man. It's uh And you, you know, what's so crazy, bro. I, I learned this, I, not saying I learned this cause I learned it a long time ago, but it just, it's, it, it, it hit me in my thirties, like somewhere in my thirties, like I'm 38 now. So that's what I'm saying is like, even, yeah, around my thirties where I just started to feel like, why do I, why did I care? Why do I care what people think? Mm. You know what I mean? Like, you know, why did I care? Like if somebody told me like, Oh, I really don't care about his music and this and that. And I'm like, Oh, okay. I I, I better stop rapping. You know, like, no, like keep going. Like yeah. they're just hanging on you, bro. You already came up with eight to 10 albums. What, what's, what album have, have they, re- they haven't even recorded a song in or exactly. Bro, like that should tell you something, bro. You know what I mean? Yeah. You know, people hated on Jesus or hated on, you know, so you got to think about that, man. You know? So I'm like, yeah, you know what? You're right. I'm going to set my own path. I am my own leader and I'm doing good for myself. You know what I mean? And and I'm not, I'm not, I never said I was the best. I know there's people that are way better than me, but that's not the point. The point mm-hmm. is that I'm doing it. I'm happy with what I'm doing. And and that's what matters, man. You know yeah. what I mean? And I hear stories too. Like it, it what what helps me is hearing other people tell me what what my music has done for them. You know what I mean? Because I, I talk to, you know, usually in my music I rapped about a lot of depression or anxiety and um, you know, what I've been through in my life. And you don't understand like how many people told me that they changed their life or they changed a way, a way of living because of my music. And that's what made, kept me going and going and going, bro. That's what kept me going, man. And, and right now, bro, I'm, I'm still rapping, man. And, and, you know, and I'm loving it, man. I feel like I'm getting better and better as I'm getting older. I'm getting better, bro. You know, I got, I'm, I'm a lot more wiser, man. Yeah. You know, tell me about it, bro. I'm 45 now. And yeah, man, it's, it's, it's really cool how with, you know, with age, you really you get a, a grasp on, on life, you know? Um, yeah. It's crazy. They, you know, they say, you know, you know, I forgot where I heard or who said that you're not a, you're not a full man. You're not a full grown man until you're 30 or something like that. I forgot who said that, but point being is that, yeah, man, as men, we we age and we age like we, we get better with age, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You ain't you ain't lying. That's those are facts, man. Um, so yeah, man, I'm 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 happy, man. You know, I, I feel like I'm at a good point in my life to be like I like I'm doing it. Like I'm because you know it's so funny, even when I was younger, I was like, oh, I, I dreamed to be this this big rapper are doing something big, you know, with myself. And it's like, well, come I'm not there yet, God, you know, what's Mm. going on? You know, Mm. like, I thought I had dreams I had, but he said, you're not ready. He goes, I'm Mm. not, you're not, you're not ready, man. I'm not, this is, you know, I have a plan for you and you're not ready, man. I'm like, I'm 30 something years old. Now you're going to tell me I'm ready. Like, you know, but 
it's okay though. I'm 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 fine with that, man. Like I'm 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 at a, I'm glad it's happening now, you know. Um look at Danny Trejo, you know what I mean? You know, look at yeah. Samuel L. Jackson, you know, you know, those those are a lot of actors that started making things happen, you know, while you know later on, yeah. Later on, there you go. I, I, I deal with that too. Lyrics, you know, like yeah, man, I'm, I'm 45. Like, why, why am I, you know, why, why is it, why did it take so long, or what? But I think you're right, man. Yeah, God, God will, you know, he'll place you where you need to be, and when you're yeah. ready, when he thinks, when he knows you're ready, then you know the, the time will be right. But until then, right, and only then is right. you, you know, will you, uh, will it be your time to shine or whatever, you know? But I think the journey is, is 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 beautiful, man. I think the journey. A lot of people who uh, who was saying, um, my man, uh, so my man, uh, uh, Mr. A. He goes by Mr. A. Shout out to him from the Set Podcast. He said a lot of people fall in love with the. They they're so attracted to the outcome, but they don't want to do the work. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's I, true. I thought, I thought that was so like just that spot on, bro. Yeah. You know? Got to be willing to go go through the process, man. And it's and, like it's like you could have faith, right? But if you if you don't, have, you know, like the Bible says, you know, faith faith without deeds is dead. You know what I mean? And so you got man. you have to got to put in that footwork, man. You know what I'm saying? And and I really believe that you can't just have faith in something. You just you really got to put in that work, and as you know, what I mean, don't you got to put in that work? You know what I mean? You so, got to put in that work. You, you know, and um, you know, God ain't always gonna hold your hand through everything, man. And because He wants you to be a man too, He wants you to experience these things. That's why I feel like even if you are sinning or if you're going through things in life that you feel like it's not in, you know, God's, you know, eyes that you know, hey, I'm not doing. It's okay. It's like you're 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 doing. You you He wants you to to uh to 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 learn from your mistakes and be your own man because we are in a world of sin you know what i mean and none of us is going to be perfect and that type of thing you know so um and i and and it's a it's it's a blessing man it's a blessing because i shoot, i mean i don't mean to come on here and start preaching nothing like that <laughs> but it's like hey it is what it is I'm, you know i'm not a perfect man but if i'm going through a bad day i'll tell god straight up man like god like man why you you know i'll, I'll talk to him like he's my homie you know what i mean i'll talk if i'm mad i'm gonna talk to him you know i'm gonna yeah you know hey mm-hmm. man god man, i'm doing i'm having a bad day why you why you messing this up for me man like you could you know like i had that conversation that's, that's what you call the relationship mm-hmm. you build that relationship man he's your you know your father so that's that's how i talk to him man yeah yeah, same but, here. Yeah, so you know, that's you, that's bro. what I do, man. That's you know, but sure. yeah, man. It's it's. I mean, could I could I sit here and cry all day and say, oh, I don't have a mom or I'm a dad or I like this this like no, like no, oh, no, keep going, keep moving, man. You know, what I mean, you got you still got a finish line. You know, you sure. and I and I got I got I got I got a race to run, bro. I mean, yeah. and when you race when you're racing, bro, nobody said that. It's going to be a perfect road, bro. You can go through bumps. You're going to go through all kinds of stuff, mm. man. You're going to fall down, but you got to get back up, you know? So, hey, I'm, I'm, that's what I'm, I'm still running this race, brother. Still running it. Absolutely, brother. Yeah, we all, we're all running that race, brother. And what, so what's next for lyrics, man? What's next for, for Ghetto Busters, man? And, and what, tell us, man, what, what do you got uh, on the horizon? What, what's your vision for this year? Um, right okay. now, man, I'm 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 writing. I wrote a children's book, man. I wrote a children's book. Um, wow. You know, and it has to do with with a child with a disability, man. You know, he's and without saying too much, but uh, uh, it's that he thinks he's going to a school with. Uh, he thinks he's going to a a school for superheroes, basically. It's like a school of superheroes, like you know, based you know first day of school type of thing you know being different and stuff you know and so because i work with kids that are special needs and a lot of people don't know that you know mm-hmm. what i mean and so they, they inspire me you know what i'm saying the, the kids that i work with inspire me so much man you know um and so you know taught me a lot of patience 
you know, to be patient and stuff, man. And, and it does take a lot of patience when you work with special needs, man. Cause I'm, I'm a health aide. So I deal with a lot of tube feeding, suctionings, catheterizations and medications and seizures and all that stuff. Like, wow. and I deal with that, man. And what, what's a, the beautiful thing about working with the students, man, is that they look at me and they don't judge me. You got people that look at me all tattoos, all this guy look like a gangster, a thug, whatever. You know, I have parents that look at me a certain way or certain people. But the only people that have never looked at me or judged me like that are the students, man. When they see me, they embrace me. They love mm. me. You know what I mean? They see mm. I mean, I do the same thing. What's up, bro? What's good? Like, I talk to them just like uh, any other kid. You know what I mean? And they love that. And I love, mm. you know what I'm saying? And so that's what kept me <clears throat> doing what I'm doing, man. And so... Yeah, yeah. So that that's yeah, man. I love it, man. That's awesome, bro. That's special, man. That's special, man. That's wow. What, what can you say about that, brother? You know, it's it's that's kudos to you, man. Yet another, you know, layer to you, man. Another facet of lyrics. You know, Jaime Nungaray, uh, just a special human being, man. An inspiration to all of us, man. Lyrics, man. Before we wrap things up, brother. Uh, tell us where we can find your music. Tell us, plug all your, you know, social media. Uh, where can we find Ghetto Busters? Uh, all everything, brother. Lay it all out. Okay. Yeah, man. You can find me on uh, Instagram. You know, Facebook, TikTok. You know, I'm doing, <laughs> doing, doing, all, doing some videos on there. You know, um, lyrics five five nine. That's L Y R I X five five nine. You know, you could Google me on. You know. I'm Googleable, you know, you type in my first and my last name or just type in, you know, Jaime Lyrics Nungarai or just Lyrics 559. I'll pop up somewhere, you know what I mean? Um, and that's where you could find me, man. Um, and, and Ghetto Busters, man, on Tubi, go to Tubi, man. All you got to do, just, 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 you know, download the app your, on your phone, your tablet, your smart TV, if it's yeah. smart. You know, just type in, <laughs> just type in Ghetto Busters and it's free and you got five episodes to watch, man. So we encourage everybody to watch it, man. Enjoy it, you know, with your family and, you know, well, maybe not with your kids. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, PG, would you say it's PG-13? Would you say it's... What would you say? I don't know if that's... No, it doesn't have a rating, right? What, what, what it it does have a rating, but it I doesn't? forgot I forgot what it is, though. It's just, it's just... To me, I feel like just... Yeah, don't watch it with your kids, man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, I took my godson though. My godson, he's an actor, but he he knows. You know, oh, he's he? an actor. He, he um he's uh he, he's nine years old, man. Okay. Eight, nine, yeah, nine years old. So he should, you know, they're they <laughs> they're like me. You you take you take JoJo to watch that JoJo. You, you can't be taking. I'm like, you know what? man like he's okay with it come on there's worse things on tiktok boy like you know <laughs> but again he knows man he he's he he knows you know he's an actor and stuff he knows all that stuff that he sees is not real and all that man but um yeah but, but anyway man yeah man it's a good it's it's a good show it's funny it's hilarious man and uh i hope you, everybody can enjoy it man you know yeah and and, and it's hopefully we, we continue to keep making more and that's the plan you know that, that's uh that's that's beautiful man because yeah you guys establish yourselves as a like we just talked about man of uh, you know very uh cohesive unit you know of cast and crew and you got your yeah. core there and and uh yeah it'd be nice to see some more projects in the works man in the future man absolutely yeah i mean falcon pictures got more things coming we've done a lot of short films we just did the uh, the big heist we did that we uh so we have a movie that we're working on i think in march or may uh it's called vengeance and um that's a full length that's a that's a feature movie man like it's Ooh. that's a that's, that's gonna be a big movie that we're gonna be working on um so yeah man we have a lot we have a lot to do man and oh. uh but you know that's we just never gave up, man. We just, you know, just because we did ghetto buzzing doesn't mean we're gonna stop from there. We're gonna, we got more things to keep going. We, got, we just, we gotta keep going, man. We're just moving. That's all we can do, brother. Yeah, yeah, yeah man. man. Well, yeah, man. It's I can't wait to see it. I can't wait to see it, man. I'm gonna continue to stay connected to you, man, and you know, uh, and just just follow follow the follow the, the your career, bro. And um, hopefully, we can collaborate in the future. And and yeah. you know. And so, yeah, but I, but I want to thank you, man, for coming on, man. It's been a pleasure talking to you, lyrics, getting to know you and your story. 
a little bit better. Ladies and gentlemen, go follow Lyrics. Give him a go check him out on, on Instagram, as all the social media that he's on. He's done a lot of work. We didn't really talk about his other work in, in, in acting. He's done how many other uh, projects have you done as an actor, brother? Oh, shoot. Uh, man, like, I think a total of 20 something. I, I can't remember, yeah. man, but you know, you could, you could see, uh, I have a couple of movies on Amazon. I got a movie called Joaquin as King. I play a lead role on there. Uh, there is on Amazon. There's a few other movies on there and I've done, uh, zombies too. Uh, I'm on there. Um, uh, yeah, man. Yeah, I, I was on straight out of Compton, but I played the. I just played a like an extra on there, man. Because a, a friend of mine was like, "Hey, you got to jump on this, man." I was like, "Man, as an extra, I was like, you know what? I would love to go for the experience. Plus, it's it's history. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I'm glad I went, bro. I got to hang out with uh, was it um, Dr. Dre's kids or Ice Cube's kids? You know what I mean? And, and meeting people, man. Get to talk to and, and network with a lot of great network. people out there, man. So it's, yeah, man, get your feet wet, man. If you want to be an actor, man, start off as an extra, man. There ain't nothing wrong with that, man. That's the only way you're going to get in and, mm. and understand the business and stuff, man. And and I did it, you know, so I, and I don't regret it. I love everything that I do. I respect everybody that they do, you know, I mean, yep. cast, everything, man, like, cause you don't know who could take you, you know, far, you know, so. For sure, brother. For sure, man. There you have it, man. Hey, thanks again, brother, for, for, for jumping on. You're always welcome back. You're now Profile Pod alum, and uh, I'm going to support you any way I can, brother. So thanks again. Yeah, I appreciate man. it, man. I get, yeah. Sometimes I get a little too excited, man. I'm just all over the place, so if I'm a little bit all I apologize. Nah, man. man. <laughs> I'm the same way, bro. Like I was telling you before, I jump back and forth in time and space, and I'm kind of all over yeah. the place, man. But, but yeah, thanks again, brother. And we'll, I'll talk to you soon, man. Ladies and gentlemen, there you have lyrics. Go give him a follow. Check him out. As you just heard his story, man. He's an inspiration. And uh, yeah, what, what else can I say about my man? So thank you so much for tuning in once again to Profile Pod TV. I'm Double A, your host. Don't forget to subscribe on uh, YouTube. Click on that little purple logo there at the bottom right-hand corner of your screen. You'll have to subscribe to a great podcast. That's one way to support, man. And leave me a rate and review. All that good stuff, man. Give me some feedback. Follow me on Instagram. There's much more content to come. And uh, I'm just here to serve the public, man. To serve you guys and provide great guests like my man Lyrics right here, man. So thanks again for tuning in. Can I, you know what? Hold on. You know what? Can I bring somebody in real quick? Yeah, yeah. Go ahead, brother. Hold on. Let me see. Hey, Max. Come on real quick. Let's see what we got here, my man. Lyrics is bringing in a, 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 another special guest, a surprise yeah, guest. Sit right here, man, real quick. Hello. <laughs> Recognize this guy? Yeah, what's yeah. up, man? How you doing? How you doing? Okay, it's, man. Uh, is right no, but, you know, from Ghetto Busters, that's, yeah, that's White Boy Ray from White Boy, episode one. White Boy Ray. Oh, I, didn't want to, I don't want to give away too much, but if I'm at a first episode. Yeah. But, uh, you know, yeah. I, or was it the second episode? First or second? Ah, I don't want to give away the... What happens, yeah. what happens to White Boy Ray? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta go watch. Nice to meet you. Hey man, good to meet you, uh, Max. Right? Absolutely. Yeah. What's your name again? Uh, Double A Andy. They call me Double A here on the Double podcast. A Andy. All right, the Energizer Bunny. That's right. <laughs> there it is. There's Max. Ghetto yeah, Busters. Man. Yeah, he plays White Boy Ray on Ghetto Busters. There's a cast member right there. There's a working actor right there. Another actor. Yeah, man. Check out his music, too, man. He's a, he's a dope boy. We just finished doing his music video, too, man. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, Damn. so a lot of us, man, we're not only actors, but we do, we you know, we do music and, you know. Multifaceted, man. I love it, bro. Yeah, man. Thanks yeah. again, brother. I want to thank you once again for coming on. White Boy yeah. Ray, lyrics. Go check out Ghetto Busters on 2 Beat, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Double A, your host of Profile Party. We'll see you next week, as always, reminding you to take it easy. Yeah. It's lovely.